What do extremely frugal people not spend money on? Ever, 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 ever. I'll tell you the things we don't spend money on. It's so, first thing we don't spend money on, new cars. Never, ever, ever, ever. We only buy used cars that we have money in the bank to pay for flat out up front. No car payment, no. No. We only buy used cars that we can afford. We're not going into debt to have a car. So right now, we have three old cars. My husband's car, my car, and I have an adult daughter who recently got a 12-year-old car. Now, of course, the problem is with old cars, sometimes they need repairs, right? But luckily, my husband is very, very handy he has a lot of experience with cars. He's worked on cars since well before he even had a driver's license. And he can fix many, many, many things. Not every single thing, but many things. For example, right now my daughter's car needs a new alternator. Whatever that is. Something with the battery and the engine. I do not know. And we looked online and... Um, you know, we saw people paying $700 or more to get a new alternator in the car. Well, he was able to buy one off the internet, I think a rebuilt alternator. I'm talking like I know anything about cars. I know nothing about cars. Um, I think he got it for $60 and he'll install it himself. So that's an enormous savings. Now, maybe you can learn to do some basic car repair yourself. You know, change your own oil, there's like filters and there's spinning things and you know there you can do that you can learn to do that next I do not spend money on any kind of beauty anything I know that's really hard to believe because you're you're like whoa she's so well put together and has such an amazing fashion sense what does she mean she spends no money on beauty? Yeah, I know. I know. Quit the sarcasm. I know what you're saying like a dull lady. That's pretty freaking obvious that you're not putting any money into your looks, right? But I don't because one, I couldn't care less. And I'm just, I think that's silly. And I'm just, you know, I'm just not. I do not pay to get my hair done. I do dye my hair as per my super cool video showing me dyeing my hair. Um, I don't have my hair professionally cut. I get my husband or my grown daughter to do it. Um, I give my husband his haircuts, and men's hair is so easy to cut. Don't let your husband go out and waste money on a haircut. Oh, good Lord. It's like the same length all over. Snip, 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 snip. Don't cut the ears, and you're good to go. I never, ever get my nails done. I've had my nails done and maybe uh, pedicures maybe five times in my life, and that's if my mother gave me a gift certificate as a birthday gift, something like that. I have friends who go to the nail salon once or twice a week regularly without fail. And I just can't conceive of just a, a weirder way to throw your money away. I mean, you can do your nails at home. It's not that hard. You can play beauty parlor with your friends. And makeup. Makeup. I, I don't spend money on makeup. I have some makeup because I put makeup on maybe once every two or three years, I just don't bother. Like, for my job, no, I'm not going to bother. If I have some fancy occasion to go to, like, a wedding, I'll put on some makeup. And I get you want to be pretty, and you're all more into that, and you, you okay, you're going to make yourself look nice, but you don't have to buy the most expensive products out there. People. People, people, they've shown that these things are all made in the same factories and then they just get their different labels. You, know? you can go with the cheaper stuff. You're going to look just fine. Don't tell me you're not because you are. Nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. Like, get real about that. Okay? My older daughter tells me I dress like a homeless man. And I'm pretty much okay with that because I just don't give a shit. But um, there are also many ways to look nice on a budget, right? And it's all about thrift stores and consignment shops. One thing we never do is buy clothing retail. We just do, do, we do, no, we just don't, I can't. Oh my God, I can't. Like, I think I would have like a stroke. I just can't. That's like, Amy, climb this 14 foot wall by yourself. Go, do it. Like, I'm, that's not gonna ever happen. 
nor am I going to go into Macy's and pay full price for a sweater. It's just not going to happen. But don't waste your money at the bullshitty mall spending so much, so much for these marked up, uh, don't, no, thrift stores, consignment shops, yard sales. You can get lots of nice clothing. It's fun. Pretend it's a treasure hunt. Fun. We don't spend money getting things professionally cleaned. So for example, obviously we're going to wash our own car. We're not going to pay somebody else to clean the car, to detail the car, to buff the car, to vacuum out the car. That's never going to happen. We certainly are not going to ever pay anybody to come in and clean our house for us. No, I have so many friends and family members who pay cleaning ladies to come in and clean the house for them. Not going to happen. Cleaning my own house. I don't pay to have things dry cleaned, except maybe my wool winter coat. Everything else other people would take to the dry cleaner, I just wash by hand. You know, sweaters, even linen. I know, I know, whatever, but that's what I do, and I save money. Gym membership. No, we do not pay for gym membership ever, 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 ever. You know, these gyms offer these great deals especially around New Year's when you're making your resolution and especially when we're getting close to bathing suit season and you get all excited and you're like, oh yeah, sign me up. Here's my credit card number. Bill me every month. That sounds cool. Ooh, what a bargain. That's great. And you've got yoga and you got a sauna. Awesome. I'm going to be in such good shape. And you might go for the first month or the first couple of months and then stuff gets in the way and you stop going and they're still billing you for months and months and months. We just try to live an active life, like cleaning our own house and gardening and going for bike rides and going for walks and dancing around the house and doing yoga at home, things like that. Dog grooming. Well, obviously, if I'm not going to pay someone to do my hair, I'm obviously not going to pay somebody to do my dog's hair. I can shampoo my own damn dog and I can give my dog her little summer haircut. So, I, can you, I don't know if you can hear my dog is sneezing now because I'm talking about her. I know people who have these little toy um, dogs, you know, that are like a fashion accessory, and they get their dogs groomed once a week. It's a, it's a dog. I love animals. I love my dogs. But, really? Like, wash your own damn dog. Professional family portraits. Not something I'd spend money on. And, and no offense to people who've done this and they've loved the outcome. I mean, you know, make your own choices. You do what you want. So something I just would not spend money on um, and I don't think it's worth it. And I'm just get your whole family together, sit them on the sofa, look natural, look normal, get to laughing about something. Someone's going to fart. You're all going to laugh. Someone takes a picture. And it's, it's just much nicer and natural and normal, like lawn service. Clearly not going to spend money having somebody else come mow my lawn. Not going to do it. Uh, my husband mows the lawn, or I mow the lawn, I do the gardening. We're not paying people to come and service our yard. And we have a big yard, and it's kind of a pain in the neck. And it, and it just, it's like out of control sometimes, and there's ivy, and there's weeds, and it's like... And they come back, but we're doing it ourselves. And taxes. Now, I know everybody's got their own situation, but if you're just a basic, normal, regular person with a regular income, and maybe you have a house, so you have a mortgage to deduct, and you might have a couple of kids, but, you know, if you don't have a business or really complicated tax situation, do your own damn taxes. I know people whose financial life is much less complex than mine and they pay an accountant every year to do their taxes or they go to H&R Block. Freaking do your taxes on your own. It's not that hard. Get TurboTax. It's like 50 bucks. That's all. Not hundreds of dollars. And it walks you through everything step by step by step. Something we never, ever, ever spend money on. Cigarettes and alcohol. I know. There are a lot of people who like to smoke. And there are a lot of people who like to drink. Well, there you go. Those things are expensive. I, I can't even imagine how heavy smokers afford cigarettes. What are you paying? Upwards of $7 a pack? What if you're a pack-a-day smoker? 
Have you ever calculated what that is over the course of a year? It's insanity. No. And alcohol? I can't afford the calories. I can't afford the cost. I can't afford to be inebriated. I got little kids to take care of. What if somebody gets hurt and I need to drive them to the hospital? You know? Now I know if you like drinking and if you like smoking, you're probably not going to quit just because I told you you're wasting money. But you could try to cut back a little bit, right? Save a little money, save some calories, save your liver, save your lungs. Cut back a little bit, okay? Just try that. Okay, so those are the things we never, ever, ever spend money on. And if you just pick one or two of those and quit spending money on it, you're going to save a heck of a lot right off the bat. Yes, you are. You're going to see your savings the first month. You're going to see a lot of savings over the course of the first year. Yes, you can do your own damn hairdo. You know you can. Yes, you can clean your own house. Yes, you can get exercise. Yes, you can mow your own lawn. I know you can, I believe in you. Self-sufficiency is what it's all about.